Hello everyone, VG Sav here, and today's video is my first impressions on the Titanfall full game. Uh, I've gotten to try almost everything in Titanfall. Uh, one exception is the Pilot Hunter. I've not tried that game mode out yet, but I've tried everything else out in Titanfall. So I have a pretty good idea of my first impressions. I've played every map. I've played, like, like I said, every uh, game mode except Pilot Hunter. Uh, I've tried all the different Titans. Not all the weapons yet. I still have some weapons i got to try because I haven't unlocked them all yet. Uh, but this is a first impression, so it's not a final impression. Um, before I completely get going here, this is uh, me playing a campaign mode, uh, Attrition, on the map Relic. Uh, it's a chapter of the story called The Odyssey on the IMC side. Uh, I'm playing with Charlie Clutch, VG Carter, and VG Nip. And I got a, I had a pretty rough start here. It took me a little while to get going, but once I got going, we actually uh, dominated and uh, won the game pretty easily. Uh, I also want to get a different map here on my channel so you guys can check out, if, you know, for everybody who hasn't played it yet, you can check out another map and see a little bit more about the game. Um, now, like, if you guys have been a subscriber to my channel for a while now, you know I did uh, Titanfall Beta first impression, so I, I don't want to repeat too much of that. But um, So I want to try to just stick with you know new stuff, and that's maps. Now, most of the maps are pretty good. Um, they have close quarter sections. They have long range sections. They have a section for every, pretty much every kind of gun, uh, gun game mode that you want to, you know, if you want to snipe, if you want to go SMG, if you want to go shotgun. Um, so that that's you know it, every map seems very balanced that way. Um, there's a couple maps I really didn't like. Uh, one of them was the hard point domination map, uh, which just there was a lot of. Uh, longer distance shooting areas, but they weren't really important areas, especially for domination. Most of the domination points were inside in these little hallways, especially the A and C, were in these little hallways. And the way to get to them, you had to be inside. You had to wrap through different, you know, made like three or four different right or left turns. And it was it was ridiculous. I did not like it one bit at all. Um, it, the map, maybe once I get used to it, I'll like it more. But at the, you know, my first impression of, of it was this map is terrible. And I usually like close quarter maps, but that map just uh, it wasn't doing it for me. Uh, but for the most part, the maps are pretty good. I don't um, the guns. I haven't unlocked any real new guns yet. I have, I have, but I haven't used them yet. Uh, one of them I did use was like a kind of like a marksman rifle. I don't know the name of it off the top of my head. Uh, and I don't like, I didn't like the marksman rifles from Call of Duty Ghosts. I don't use them at all. However, I did find myself using this gun and actually enjoying it quite a bit. It's not a bad gun at all, actually. I have been using the SMG a lot more lately. Uh, I do like that gun. Uh, I'm starting to grow very fond of that gun. I, I like that gun a lot. I didn't really like it so much in the beta. I do. I. I don't know if they improved it or what, but it. it it's. I like it a lot more now. Um, the sights and the attachments for the guns. I, I. There's not. I wish there was more. Not too much more, but maybe just a little more. Like some of the optics. Like the optics for the rifle stink. I don't. I don't like the optics on the rifle. On the rifle at all. Uh, I'd much rather just go with the iron sight. It has a little red dot on the iron sight, and it's perfect. I mean, it, I don't need any, you know the the uh, optic. You saw me using it at the beginning of this uh, video here, and that, that's ended up why I or one of the reasons why I stopped using it and ended up going with the shotgun the rest of the video uh, is because I just can't use that optic. It zooms just a little more than I want it to zoom, and it's just it's 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 not the pr I don't know. I, I just don't like it. I'd much rather just have a dot, and that's that's where I have to shoot. Point the dot and shoot. Uh, it works the best for me. Um, I do like the silencer attachment, though, especially on... Not so much on the shotgun. I have used it on the shotgun. I really don't like it on the shotgun, but I like it a lot on the SMG, and I like it a lot on the rifle. Um, it keeps you off the map, and it, it's it, it's not too... It doesn't nerf the gun too much. Like a lot. Like in Call of Duty, sometimes it gets... Like the range on the on, with the silencer on the guns just gets so badly nerfed, it's almost not worth using. Uh, I didn't feel that way in this game. Uh, it actually might even border on slightly overpowered, um, just because you're not on the map, and they never see you coming, and they never see you going. Um, so, I do like I do like that attachment a lot. I use that attachment a lot. The silencer. Um, other than that, the game modes I played, like I said, I played some capture the flag uh, a little bit, and even though we got smoked, <laughs> especially the one time, I mean, we just got we got destroyed the one time we played it. Um, I do like the added factor of now the Titans being a part of it. You know, I also miss it from Call of Duty, so it's nice to play uh, Capture the Flag again. But um, the added, uh, you know, element of 
the Titans and a lot of guys are using the Strider Titans to try to you know zip across the map after they pick up the flag. You also can't pick up the at least in the two maps I played, you couldn't pick up the flag with the Titan. You had to be out of the Titan because they were in, the the flags were indoors. Um, so I it I like that extra element of strategy of you know trying to figure out what Titan to use. You know if you want a lot of guys were using ogres to defend and Striders to run. Um, I use the Atlas pretty much all the time. I really don't. I, I haven't really I haven't used the ogre much yet. I've used it once or twice. It's a little it's too damn slow for me, and the strider is just too weak. Like I, I thought I would like the strider. I think I, I thought I would like zipping around, but I I just if you get if you get trapped with the strider, the strider just goes down like almost instantly. It takes almost no damage. Um, but uh, one thing I mentioned during the uh, when I was doing my first impressions of the beta is that I really did not like last Titan standing. I've kind of come around on that. Um, still, the best thing I guess I can compare it to is search and destroy without the bomb, and with titans. Um, except it's it's the titan battling is actually just a whole other element to this game. It's not Call of Duty, and it's actually that titan versus titan, it, all titan versus titan battling, is uh, what last titan standing is. And it's one death once your titan's down. It's you know you're done unless you know you come back as your pilot as long as you don't die. And uh, try to help your team out, but once all the Titans are down, it's 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 over. It's it's a whole nother level of uh, strategy. It really is. It's 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 pretty cool. It's it's grown on me, and I think it's going to grow on me even more the more I play it. Um, nothing it it nothing to me ever compares to Search and Destroy. Search and Destroy is one of the best game modes ever made in Call of Duty. However, it, it, as long as you don't take it like that, like it's you know it's it's Search and Destroy's replacement, you know. Even though it kind of is, don't take it that way because you, you'll go into it with a closed mind. Go in with an open mind, and you actually, I think you'll you'll enjoy it. Um, you know, thing uh, I didn't play the last uh, the t pilot hunter yet. I heard that's pretty much just team deathmatch. And if I'm going to play team deathmatch in this, I'm just going to play Trish, and I don't see any point to playing pilot hunter. Um, though I heard, you know, because you have to kill pilots to get points, it's a little, you know, it's just another element of uh, you know strategy, but. Eh. Like I said, if I'm going to play Team Deathmatch in this, I'm just going to play Trish. I was never much of a Team Deathmatch fan anyway. And last thing before we go, the burn cards are not nearly as overpowered as they appear like they were going to be in the beta. The, the, the very overpowered ones are very difficult to get, and there's always that element of you got it, you, and then you get killed. And now you don't have it anymore, you know what I mean, once you go to use one of those rare ones. Uh, so anyway, that's my video, guys, of my impressions, my first impressions of Titanfall. Uh, the full game. Uh, I hope you liked it. If you do, like, subscribe, leave a comment. As always, guys, thanks for watching.